All right, thanks, Dan. Minnesota's public safety commissioner saying today there is no imminent threat to the Capitol in St. Paul. Still, John Harrington says the state will not be taking any chances ahead of next week's inauguration. Several agencies, including the Minnesota State Patrol and Minnesota National Guard, are working together. They say they're prepared to handle any effort to stir up chaos at the state capitol. Officials have requested people stay away from the state capitol complex for the time being. Now, state law does allow people to uh, carry firearms as long as they have a permit at the Minnesota state capitol complex. But Governor Walls says doing so in the coming days is merely an intimidation tactic. You have something about a fence dispute with your neighbor and you go over and knock on the door to talk to them. That's what neighbors do. They talk and get this out. You may not even be happy about it. You walk over there carrying an AR-15. The situation is different and the conversation is different. And it's just you have the right and a constitutional right to have that firearm, which I served 24 years in the military to defend. Doesn't mean you should be doing it. You have the right to own a chainsaw, but you shouldn't take a running chainsaw into McDonald's just to prove that you have the freedom to do so. And due to security concerns, Minnesota's federal courthouse will be closed from Sunday through early Thursday morning.